Yo, 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 this your boy, the real McCoy, coming at you, man. Talking about the NFL, man. Talking about the AFC, NFC Championship. Championship game, championship weekend, and the NFL, man. And uh, incredible, man. Just absolutely incredible, man. You you got to talk about the, the NFC Championship game, man. Green Bay Packers, Seattle Seahawks up in Century Link, man. The 12s up in Seattle. Absolutely incredible game, man. Um... I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there watching the game. I mean, I, I love football. I've been watching it all my life. Greatest sport in the world. I, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm. I'm not gonna say I'm an expert, but I can sit down, and I can have an intelligent football conversation with any so-called football expert. But I'm sitting there watching the game, and I had no explanation for what I was watching. I couldn't. In football terms, I'm like, I don't know what's going on right now. How is Seattle doing this? How did Seattle win that game? I mean, just it was incredible. I'm not taking anything away from them, but just one of the most un un unlikely wins for Seattle. I mean, we've saw comebacks before in playoffs. Um, uh, when was it? Uh, in the, uh early '90s with the Houston Oilers. They they blew the big game against the Buffalo Bills and Frank Wright. You know what I mean? The the uh, the miracle and um, what's it called? The, the kick return between the Tennessee and Buffalo. I forgot what a miracle. I forgot what it was called, but uh. All kind of. I know it was another game between the, the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets in the 90s. Crazy. So we've saw comebacks before, but this was just one of the most un unlikely. I mean, just kick me down. The special, uh, not the special teams, the uh, on sides kick, two point conversion. It was just absolutely, it was crazy, man. It was absolutely incredible. But I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan. I bleed Cowboy Blue. But, <coughs> excuse me, but watching that game. I don't care who, if you're not a fan of Green Bay or Seattle, you had, if you're a football fan, you love that game. That, after the game, I had tweeted out, I said, the NFC Championship game, that's the reason why I love football. That's the reason why, as fans, that's why we watch football. That was absolute incredible, man. Incredible stuff going on, man. Um, I mean, Seattle could not have played the worst game ever, <laughs> especially in the first half. They couldn't play any, any worse. They couldn't, especially the offense. The defense was playing as well, but all the turnovers, the defense was playing as well as they could. <laughs> With all the turnovers and things like that, they were on the heels, almost, I mean, Green Bay. It's like every single play Green Bay ran was on Seattle Seahawks territory on their side of the uh, ball, on, on, opposite, on, on opposite side of the 50-yard line. So they were on the heels all, the entire first half. <laughs> But the offense was not helping them out at all, man. Just a crazy game, man. Um, say five turnovers, man. And I mean, that one thing I didn't like. There was some Green Bay, maybe not Green Bay fans, just some people on Twitter and stuff like that was saying, "Oh, the NFL has the stupidest overtime rule. They need to change it." And I was like, "What are you complaining about? I mean, you get six because last week." I didn't like how some Cowboys fans were saying, oh, we got robbed, the whole Dez brain, no catch, things like that. And I was like, maybe I'm just old school. I'm like, we didn't get robbed. You get 60 minutes of football to prove that you're the better team. 60 minutes. Green Bay Packers had 60 minutes of football to prove that they were the better team. And five turnovers. What else do you need? You've got the MVP, presumably. And most people probably agree he's going to get, we don't know yet. <coughs> To Super Bowl leave that night before to do the NFL honors, and which, which is cool. He's probably gonna get MVP. You get 60 minutes of football plus overtime and five turnovers. What else? I mean, you know what I'm saying? What else do you need? So maybe I'm just old school. I, I like the overtime rule when the team gets the ball, go down, kick a field goal, game is over. I mean, even if, even if even if that was the Cowboys up there playing in Seattle and. I, I still think the Cowboys, if we would have beat Green Bay, I still firmly believe we would have beat Seattle yesterday. I firmly believe that. Seattle just don't match up well against 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 the Cowboys. They don't, they don't match up well. But the one thing that I, I figured that we can't probably can't beat or it's going to be a tough matchup for us is Green Bay and they beat us. But anyway, if it was the Cowboys up there and we had all doing all that and Seattle won the coin toss and they went down and scored, I wouldn't have complained. You get 60 minutes of football. A coin toss is not gonna win win decide the game. You gotta execute. People say, oh, both both teams should get it. I hope the NFL don't change that rule. Both teams should get the ball. No, it's called competition. You get 60 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I can't stress that enough. Maybe I'm just oh, you get 60 minutes of football. Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. 
You get five turnovers. As far as we know, Russell, Russell Wilson could have threw another pick. Run it back for a touchdown. Walk off the field. You know what I'm saying? Why does, why does both teams anyway, man? 60 minutes of football, but Green Bay had ample opportunities. If they would have capitalized on all of those turnovers, the score, I'm just throwing it out, the score of that game could have easily been 50 to 17. I'm just, you know, something like that. 50 to 4, who knows? It, it could have been ugly, but they were settling for field goals with about, I think, like five minutes, just, just over five minutes left. I think um, Morgan Burnett got the inter the fifth pick. Javon Curse bounced off his shoulder. That's why I don't like Rob C was trying to catch the ball with their body. You got to bounce off his shoulder. He called it. The, um, the, the safety for the Packers had a lane. Could have been a pick six. But you, but Julius Peppers was telling him to get down. Get, and he got down. And I was like, well, I mean, you get the ball like that Deion Sanders say. Get it and score. You know what I mean? Get it and score. But he, he popped out the game was over. Never assume the game is over. You always got to be aggressive. You always gotta pedal to the metal. Don't give a don't ever give a team a chance. You know what I'm saying? And sure enough, after he got that pick, Green Bay went three and out. The punter basically shanked the punt. Then you had the uh, the beast mode run, and <coughs> I mean it got it got crazy. I mean it's the stuff. I don't know. Was it the beast mode? No, it was the uh, Russell Wilson ran it in from the one. I mean if on a read option. But anyway, they had plenty of chances, man. The turnovers. But just in incredible, man. Just, I don't, so I don't want to hear none of that. Both teams should get a chance in the overtime. You get six. I mean, there have been games where teams have scored 50 points in 60 minutes of football. So I don't hear none of this. Both teams should get a chance. Green Bay had plenty of chances. Say 60 minutes of football and five turnovers. With the presumably MVP, even though, even though he was gimpy. You know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Just absolutely incredible game, man. I mean, even, even to make it even more incredible, Russell Wilson ended up with more passing yards than Aaron Rodgers. That's a head scratcher. I was like, what? How did <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, how did he did? Crazy. I think Aaron Rodgers had like 178, and um, Russell Wilson had like 205, something like that. I just, one of those things about that game, just it's hard to explain. I mean, Seattle had absolutely nothing going on. Richard Sherman, when I, mean, I first saw him, he stuck his arm and Cam Chancellor hit his arm. I was thinking maybe dislocate his shoulder. But when I see him doing his arm like that, it's okay, it's not his shoulder. Maybe dislocated elbow or a broken arm. I don't care how tough you are. And what, what, what game you playing, the, big, the biggest game of your life. I'm like, man, if it's a broken arm, you're going to come off the field for at least one play. But he never came off the field, so I was like, maybe it's just hurting. It hurts really bad. You know what I mean? Earl Thomas dislocated his shoulder. I mean, it was just like nothing was going right for Seattle. Nothing was going right. And sure enough, I mean, just improbable, incredible win, man. <clears throat> they kept fighting, man. It, it was incredible. I, mean, I, I knew for sure that game was, that game was over. This game was over, man. The, Seattle, the 12s, they started leaving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They started leaving. They thought it was over. Like, how do you... I'm like, hey, Seattle, you had a nice, good, you no know, two two-year run. You know what I mean? Three years because he went to the divisional round in 2012. You know what I mean? Good two or three year run. Hey, you know, can't win them all. Incredible, man. Just absolutely incredible. I mean, they talking about, um, <coughs> I believe, um, Boxer, Brian Boxer, I believe his name, the kick returner. And I know his, he said he needed to do it. His job was to block and let Jordy Nelson catch the ball. Get it? But once you up in the air, Bro, you gotta make that play. You got you gotta catch the ball. I mean, he went through his hands and hit him in the face. Seattle gets the ball back, drive down the score. That's when the beast mode run happens, and just just an incredible game, man. Just absolutely incredible, man. Um, and then you look at the AFC Championship game. Once you watch the NFC Championship, you watch that. You like what? And you on the edge of your seats, the emotion. You excited? Then you watch Colts Patriots, and it. Takes everything, you know what I'm saying? Takes takes all the excitement out of the room, man. That game went based on how I thought it would. Only thing that surprised me was the fact that Andrew Luck didn't throw two picks until late in the game. I mean, I I, I knew man, Andrew Andrew Luck is big time, man. Big time. People love Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck got a turnover problem. He, he turns the ball over. Now those last two picks he threw, he was trying to, to make a play. You know what I mean? Because they were down. 
I get it. But I knew he was gonna throw at least, at least two picks. You know what I mean? That, that's that's what Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck turns the ball over. That's what he does. He was only second in the league, I believe, to Jay Cutler. Wow. And he wasn't that far behind. You know what I mean? But that game went how I thought it was gonna go, man. I'ma do <coughs> I'ma do um a Super Bowl preview preview video probably this Wednesday or Thursday at one o'clock at one PM Eastern Standard Time. Uh I don't either Wednesday or Thursday, you know what I mean? We got a good game, Patriots, Seahawks. I'm gonna do a preview game video on that, man. But that NFC championship game was absolutely crazy. I wish the Cowboys could have been in it, you know what I'm saying? But it was just absolutely incredible game to watch, man. Absolutely incredible, man. <laughs> Still can't really like what like what just happened, you know what I mean? How does that even just, just incredible, man? Just out Seattle kept fighting. Like the Cowboys finished the fight. They kept fighting, kept believing. They never got down. Nobody on the sideline put their heads down. They was just like, hey, let's go do it. You know what I mean? Can't play any worse, so hey, let's let's go do it, man. But they, they played incredible, man. Um I mean Aaron Rodgers threw two picks. I mean, he, he didn't he he played okay, you know what I mean, in, in, in spurts here and there. Nothing against him, just that Seattle's defense is, is for real. They're legit, you know what I'm saying? That that game is an incredible game to watch, man. I, I should have did a video right after the game so I can get you know get be more pumped up and emotional about it. But you know it is what it is, man. But um, that's why I love football. That game is the reason why I love football, man. The the two point conversion, Russell Wilson scrambling, just throws it up. Uh, ha ha, Clinton Dix, the rookie uh, from Alabama. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, it looked like he thought the ball was gonna go over the tight end. He was gonna catch it like a like a bread basket, I guess. Then I guess he realized the ball was not gonna go that far, and he tried to make a play on it. I guess he, I, I don't know what was. I mean, I, one of those things like, dude, you are NFL DB, you make a play, man, make a play on the ball. I mean, you gotta, you're a little more athletic than that. That was horrible. I don't know what that was, and that two point conversion was huge because I put him up by three. Because Aaron Rodgers drove him straight down the field, right in field goal range. You, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what that. The onside kick, man. Uh, the Doug Baldwin, who, who caught the deep pass from the slot, who got him down to the 35-yard line. And then J Javon Curse caught the game winner. You know what I mean? The walk-off touchdown. But, I, I mean, Green Bay had ample opportunities to win that game. I just don't – I can't explain. how. I, I, I don't know how they lost. I just, how did you lose that game? How does Russell Wilson end up with more passing yards than uh, Emory Rodgers? I want to guess Marshawn Lynch had 157 rushing yards. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? I'm looking at the stat sheet. I'm not really too big in the stat sheets, but he had 157. Like, when did he get those yards? Where did they come from? You know what I'm saying? Incredible, man. That's an incredible game, man. Green Bay had ample opportunities, man. I hope NFL don't change the overtime rule. I wish they would go back to the old rule, the old field goal. <coughs> if I lose by a field goal in overtime, hey, as a team, it's our fault for letting it go to overtime. Beat them in 60 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Why do I get awarded another chance? You know what I mean? I mean, Green Bay had five turnovers plus 60 minutes, plus Aaron Rodgers. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you have ample opportunities, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I just want to do a quick video on that, man. Wish my Cowboys were still playing on me. I, 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 th I thought they would be, but it is what it is, man. I like the direction my Cowboys are headed in, but should be a good Super Bowl matchup, man. Uh, Seattle Seahawks, uh, New England Patriots. I'm gonna do uh, a, a preview for that for that game. It's either Wednesday or Thursday. Don't know for sh don't know for sure. And um, it will say it would be 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But that game was just absolutely incredible in the NFC Championship game, man. Absolutely incredible, man, and um, we'll, 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 we'll see what's up with that, man. And um, it's an incredible game, man. Say so if you, if 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 you a football fan, that's why we love that game. Is why we love football. That's why we love football, man. That's that's, that's what we do. <laughs> that's that's why we love it, man. Incredible game, man. But um, yeah, this uh, yeah, this, this video ain't gonna be that long. Make it make it real quick, real short, man. But um. Like, subscribe, man. Leave a comment. Share the video. Check out my playlist. Uh, I'm going to leave. Um, uh, we go, go to my blog and my Twitter. I'm going to leave that in the description box below. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. If you guys want to uh, uh, check that out. Things like that. And uh, 
Super Bowl should be good. February 1st, man. Should be a good game, man. No doubt. And now, yeah, this your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.